Dynamite drop in there, Duke. Thanks, thanks for entertainment. Thanks for uh, helping us out. Blackberry Ridgians, we are back for another episode of Life on Blackberry Ridge. No, we're back for a barn series installment video. Uh, I just walked into a pretty dark place. Did the camera stay with me? Ah, she did. All right, so a barn series installment video, whatever. What are we going to do for today's series video? The next phase has happened. And we are going to show you what Marmy and Pappy worked on while they were in town. Um, they got a lot done while Amber and I were in Chicago. And it's high time you see their efforts. So I'm going to give you a quick peek. Well, let's see what Duke's doing first. Hey, Duke, the people want to know, what are you up to? <laughs> Hey, are you all played out? Are you tarred? Are you hot and tarred? Dynamite drop in there, Duke. Thanks, thanks for entertainment. Thanks for uh, helping us out. So what are we going to show you? you you're, you're seeing it right now behind me. You just saw it when you talked to Duke right there. What Marmy and Pappy did while we were out of town is this right Make sure the camera's good. Make sure everything's set up perfect. This right here, right now, go. No, not that, that's Duke. But right there, all the way down. Marmy and Pat, oh, we got one open. That's really kind of screwing up the presentation here, isn't it? Because this is purdy. I'm gonna have to move this board and get a good shot of this for the thumbnail. All the way down, right there, we got stall doors on, and they look awesome. So real quick, they basically built the doors exactly how you've seen in the first door video on the series. And uh, since then, they, I mean, they basically trimmed it all out, just the exact same. All the procedure of making the door itself was fine. And then we got into an issue of, oh crap. How are we gonna hang these heavy doors? And they're heavy and big and big and heavy. So the first hinges we had weren't the greatest thing. <clears throat> we didn't even put them on because once we just kind of felt the doors and saw the hole and all that kind of stuff, we knew it wasn't gonna work. So we ended up going with these hinges right here that are basically <clears throat> threaded. They're basically like a, uh... it's coming to me, stand by, it's coming to me. It's coming to me like a lag bolt. There we go, lag bolt. I don't know why that was so difficult. This is essentially a lag screw that goes in and it comes out and it turns up and it's got that uh, 90 degree on it. And then this hinge, it's real simple, but it's also very, very strong. And then this hinge has a hole in the top and it just slides over the top. So very, uh, very simplistic, but yet very, very, very practical in this situation. Let's just go over here to where this one's open. You can kind of see what we've got going on. Uh, there, those are all through bolted. We need to come in and uh, possibly take those off with the Dremel. But uh, there's a side view of the hinge going straight in. And then I'll open the door and show you what we got there. But just so you can get a good look of all of this. Um, it's just painted rough cedar once again, the black metal to match the building. And then uh, this is a cedar top that is going to get stained like, well, there's a, a piece for our columns. It's basically going to get stained like that. And uh, so you kind of have some dimension there. Uh, we got to do some grinding on the concrete because concrete um, is really hard to get a true 90. So it's usually gonna have a little bit of roundness to it. And that's all we gotta do is bring my grinder up here. 
that we have at work and just kind of clean that up a little bit um, and then those doors will fit like a glove but those lag bolts here's a, a side view of how they've gone in there those lag bolts lag hinges rather are in this pack of studs right here so they're in there tight it's got a lot of strength at each opening so we shouldn't ever have any problems from a framing standpoint with these doors and the weight of them or anything like that so here's kind of a view of them from the inside with some beautiful scaffolding in the way i might add and uh, we'll have a wall a stall wall basically cutting each one in half and they're all swinging the same direction which is that way in order to miss our columns out there and uh, I wish I was here for video because my parents hung these by themselves um, which you guys may be thinking oh well that's not a big deal actually these are very very heavy uh, and I believe they use the scaffolding to their advantage uh, they hung the bottom ones all first because those were all pre-made. You've seen those in other videos. All the bottoms were pre-made. They got those in the hole, hung them. That gave them their dimension, their final dimension for the top one, they, which they were able to uh, then make the top ones from scratch all right here in that week. And then they hung the top ones after the fact and they got their ledge, their ledge board on in between. So pretty proud of them for that uh, i was actually kind of upset that they tried to do that on their own um i wish they would have let me get them some help up here or wait till i got here but uh they are very strong-willed and if there's a will there's a way with them so they just figured it out and got it done um so that i don't know what else i can tell you about these doors uh they are all in the hole, hung, ready to go. We just got to do some slight little modifications to them, but basically that's the doors. You can see how we've wrapped the jams with the metal, which is really good. It'll help with that protection. And then inside these stall walls, we will end up doing some, some, uh, some all wood uh, stalls for the horses. So I'm gonna close these doors up and uh, take a final picture, but you don't need to hear me ramble or he need to see me do any of that. So for the second part of the barn doors, the second and final part, the barn doors are done. And uh, yeah, so we're going to end the video. So we will see you next time up on the ridge.